Hi, uh, today, uh, now going into our 19th video, uh, this is going to be on Baker's Percent as a continuation. Uh, when I first began this, uh, this series, I thought I would make 20 videos, which as we're coming up on 19, and I've got one in mind for the 20th. I wanted to make sure that I got these in. Uh, and as we've done this, I've gotten a lot of questions, both through comments uh, and even more so direct emails, that have asked that uh, I go in more depth uh, into some of the uh, um, more the chemistry and the overall baking uh, uh, process, which I'm in the, the process right now of, of creating basically an online course uh, that will be uh, offered in Aleva. Once I get the website and the link uh, all set up for that, I'll, I'll share that. But uh, I, I want to be able to um, have a, a, basically an entire uh, portfolio of baking classes that would be uh, available to those that want them. And, uh, and so that's what I'm going to be working on. But for today, uh, this again being our 19th video, and when I had made the uh, Baker's Percent video before, it was going to be a little bit too much information to go from that and then also go into how you do Baker's Percent for uh, sourdough, sour cultures. Uh, the, the thing you have to keep in mind is to be able to account for both the flour and the water that's in the, uh, the Levan itself, the, the sour culture, to calculate your hydration and your, your salt levels. So that's what we're going to go into. And if you go back on the fourth video of, uh, you know, Baker's Percent, uh, you will remember that we started with basically a straight dough that uh, goes through basically if it's 100% flour, then maybe 65, 70% water, 2% salt, and then whatever percentage of yeast that you're going to need, uh, 0.5, 0.7% instant yeast, things of that nature. Then uh, explained how you would take out, if you wanted to make a pre-ferment, say a poolish or uh, a big uh, sponge, where you take out a percentage of that original flour, and then a percentage of water, and then a, even a small percentage of the uh, yeast, and those are taken out from the original formula to have that uh, ferment uh, for the whatever period of time that you have, whether it's overnight or six hours, eight hours. And then that goes back into the original formula you know, from that. So on that basis of understanding uh, the, the basic concepts of Baker's Percent, and if you don't, go back to the other video uh, because I don't want to go back through the entire thing. But what we will do is continue from that uh, video. So if you want to, you know, do part one, then now this is part two. Uh, on sourdough cultures, this is going to be a way that you can create your own uh, percentages and your own formulas and understand why uh, the percentages are as such. So when you begin on a sour culture formula and you're, you're creating it yourself, you're uh, going to have flour, water, salt, and then a uh, levain, a, uh, a sour culture. So now we need to give percentages of what that is. So if you wanted to have, uh, let's say often it's about 20, 25%, sometimes 30% of a Levan for a formula. That means that you're always gonna have, first of all, your 100% flour, and then your water and your salt, you still don't know yet. And then your Levan, whatever it is that you choose, let's say 20%, uh, you now have 100% flour, question mark of water, question mark of salt, and then 20% of the Levan. Now that Levan is broken up into flour and water. Okay, it's a, it's a, we're gonna to use today a liquid Levan that is gonna be a white flour-based liquid Levan and a white flour-based uh, flour uh, for the, uh, the dough. So if that 20% is uh, your liquid Levan, that means that 10% of that 20% is flour, and then the other 10% is water. So you st have 100% flour for the original formula, then 10 and 10. So now take that 100%, add the 10% flour, so now you basically have 110% or 110 parts of flour. So now you want to try to figure out your water percentage against that. And this is where you have to start to think a little bit uh, uh, about this. So you have 110 parts. And if you want to choose your hydration so that you adjust against the Levan, 
we're going to take that 110 parts and let's say we choose 70% uh, of overall hydration. So take the 110 parts, multiply it by 70%, and you're going to get 77, so 77%. But now you have to remember that of that 77 parts, 10 of those parts are water from the Levant. Because remember, you have 10 flour, 10 water. 110 parts of flour, and now you're going to have 77 parts of water. Subtract the 10 parts of water that comes from the Levant. So from that 77, it now becomes 67. And then that becomes your percent. So you'll have 100% flour, 67% water. You have your 20% Levant. Again, broken into the 10 and 10. Now you have to do salt. You still have 110 parts of flour, right? 100 from the original, you know, base flour. 10 from the Levin, so you have 110 parts of flour. Multiply that by 2%, and that will be 2.2%. So that's going to be uh, 110 parts times the 2% will now get you the 2.2%. That's going to be your actual base on the formula. So from that whole kind of breakdown, you chose a 20% Levin, and for Simple purposes, we did a, a, a liquid levain that's going to be a 10% flour, 10% water. 100% flour overall. Add the 10 on. Now you have 110 parts of water, I mean of, of flour. Then you figure out your water, your salt, and then we've now got 100% flour, 67% water, 2.2% salt, and then the 20% levain. And that will give you, for the overall uh, hydration, 70% and 2% salt. So now that we have our formula that your flour, whatever flour that may be, at 100%, your water, 67%, your salt, 2.2%, and then your Levan liquid as we chose at 20%. Now let's just base it on, uh, let's say 10 pounds of flour uh, against the 100%, okay? so. You now have your 100%, uh, 10 pounds. You have 67% against that 10 pounds, so you have 6.7 pounds. Uh, then your salt would be 0 0.22 pounds, the 2.2% against that 10 pounds. And then you have 20% against that 10 pounds, which is going to be 2 pounds. So you have 10 pounds of flour, 6.7 pounds of water, and then 0 0.22 pounds of salt, and then you have two pounds of your Levin. So you now can think of it this way as well. You have 10 parts of flour plus one part from the Levin, so you have 11 parts total flour. And then you have from your water, 6.7 parts of water plus the one part in uh, the Levin, so you actually have 7.7 .7 parts of water. So if you want to just make sure that you're doing it correct, take that 7.7 .7 parts, divide it by the 11 parts of flour, and then multiply that by 100, and you get your 70%. Right? Same with the salt. Just to make sure that you've done this correctly, you've got the 0 0.22 pounds of salt. Divide that by the 11 parts of flour. Multiply that by 100 to get your percent, which is 2, 2%. Two All right, and then you have the one pound and one pound of flour in the liquid Levin. So it's very simple. When you go through this, the main thing that you have to think about and remember is that the water that you have has to also be accounted for that's going to be from the Levin and then the flour from the Levin. So your overall hydration that you choose, if it's going to be 67, 70%, whatever it is, you have to make sure that you account for that and have that subtracted from it to get your percentage. Once you've got your percentages, then you can make any amount of dough weight that you want. Uh, you've done it, and if you look at the, uh, the prior uh, video on the baker's percent, you'll see you just add up the total thing. Your percents are considered parts. Divide those parts by the dough weight, and then uh, multiply that by the amount of parts you have, 167, 2.2, and then 20. And relatively simple that way. It can go further into this if you really want to. If you wanted to have both a Levin 
and a, a preferment, a poolish, a biga, or whatever. Same exact process. Now from that 10 pounds, if you wanted to take out two pounds, say 20% of the original flour, and you can make a poolish from it. Same process that we would have done. So we take out the two parts of, uh, or the two pounds of flour, take out two pounds of water, and then a small pinch of yeast, ferment that overnight, add that to the rest of the formula, and then you have your 100% on the water, the 67% on the uh, uh, hydration, and then 2.2% on there, the 20% on the levan, and then your poolish that you had, which is gonna be the two pounds of flour and the two pounds of water, and then you can make that uh, overall hydration still the exact same, the salt still the exact same, the hydration and the overall thing. Just add complexity to it, but then it makes that, uh, the flavor of the product that much more complex. If you look back, uh, we've made a handful of uh, products that had just Levan, one product that had both a Poolish and a Levan on the, uh, the rustic Italian. And then on my final video, which would be the 20th, I wanna do one where we kind of create the formula and then come together and try to make that product utilizing different ways of uh, pre-ferments and different ways of uh, uh, sours, okay? I hope this is understandable. Uh, it, it's, not a, it's a short video. It doesn't take a whole lot, but it's basically the second part of the original Baker's Percent video so that you have a full understanding. And, and if you do watch from the very first video all the way through, and, and they're numbered as such, one, two, three, four, five, that as you go along, you're gonna to start to build that foundation and have a good understanding of what uh, it takes to make bread. And then, you know, there was the one where we did with the, uh, how to create a bread formula, okay? So all of these little uh, tools and parts and, you know, things put together, you should become and actually become actually a very good baker at home. All the products we made on this uh, series, you can easily do at home. Just takes a little bit of practice, a little bit of technique, and just follow the steps. Right. I hope you understand it. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you do, uh, put the, you know, the click, like, subscribe, all that stuff that they say to do. Uh, it does help, and, uh, and I've gotten quite a few more viewers and uh, uh, more subscribers as a result. And uh, I just thank you for participating. Follow us at uh, kingdombread-tampa.com, and, uh, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.